Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. As you can see I'm looking in the sky and the reason I'm looking in the sky is because our rocket is just coming back to Earth as you can just see. Right, in this rocket I should have, and you have to shift right click it, some ores I've been mining for. What I particularly want is retail ore. And the reason I want this is, let's do this control speed, yeah, that'll do. It's because I need to do, or what I'd like to do, is a terraforming act. Is a terraforming. So that's now empty, as you can see. In fact, all of the all of the chests should now be empty, like that. Uh, and I'll go and put this everything into here like this. Let's do Control Click, and you'll see that these are cobblestone are being removed because they're going out into this. Trash can here with a filter on it for filtering cobblestone, white listed cobblestone. So the only thing I can throw away in this trash can is cobblestone. So let's have a quick look. I think I have another chip around. Because I want to send this rocket off again. Where have I put it? I might have put it in this diamond chest here. I might actually have not. No, I haven't. Anyway, I've got a very em empty inventory for a very good reason. So I want to do that first. So, and then I come back to this again. What my plan is, is to do the uh, the quest for... Um, let me just a second. To do the quest for the um, terraforming. Well, it's not a quest. It's just a thing for terraforming. I think it might be in here. Station 2, Station ID chip. I'm looking for similar looking one to that one. I'm not exactly sure where it is. But I'd like to do the cobblestone quest. And here I've got 16,000 cobblestone. And if I take a stack of that, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, the cobblestone quest, you're not allowed to submit it using the OSS, which you probably already know about if you've been watching Exedra's videos. But you can still submit it. Watch. So if I press this, oh, not one. If I press open the quest one up and go back to cobblestone, you'll see I've already submitted 160,000 cobblestone. And if I detect and submit what I've got on me, it disappears like that. And I go back to that, and you'll see it's now gone up a little bit. So what I've been doing to do that is I've been basically got a quantum storage here with more than enough cobblestone in it. To do the quest and what i'm doing all i'm doing is breaking this like that then you get all of the cobblestone being thrown around on me going back to the quest and saying detect submit and keep clicking that until all of the co cobblestone has been picked up and been detected and uh, been submitted check that again now you'll see now i've got 178,000 cobblestone and so I think that's actually the intention or the, the way it's supposed to be done. But you, you do actually need to keep it here, otherwise you get... Don't do too much, you get too much lag. So I want uh, this one, put this one down like this. Take the key and the upgrade. So I've got a diamond upgrade on this one. And take the key and then we can see how many we're getting on there. I don't need this that particular I could do it actually but you can't really see because it's been covered by the numbers so when we get to 16,000 we can do that again and the way I'm doing that here is I basically have got four and I could make it five or even five I could do or go underneath as well item conduits full with speed upgrades and as you can see already already done break it again go up to the quest detect and submit and you can just hear it done so now I'm all left with those which is actually nice because they're in, in the hot bar this time so I can right click that one that one and that one and we'll off we go again check the check the state of the quest now in fact what I should do is move the key to the this particular slot here check the state of the quest again 190,000 so I will keep doing that but not on camera until I get to the very end. Also, it's time to submit the diamonds, so let's get on with those ones. Let's turn that on always active, and we can go back to here and we can go to the retrieval task. I think it's probably lapis killing under the sun diamonds. Click the plus button, and these should start to commit. 
if I have so which probably haven't set up the other side have I? I need yep I need that to be insert and I probably want some speed upgrades so let's quickly go and make some speed upgrades for that and I should be able to make 15 in a go now because I've got everything pre-made in fact they're automatically pre-made so let's put those into the extractor because what I've done and let's check the quest submission station here you see now they're going up so it won't be too long and this will be completed so let's have a look at my quest status again so I've got under the sand that's going to take a while that's the one that's doing the sandstone lapis I think is nearly there well it's not actually but it's getting on its way and diamond should be completed this episode lapis is here so in here we have 76,000 well 76 blocks nope 76 64 stacks of lapis and that's increasing reasonably rapidly and in here I've got 99,000 point nine so I reckon I've just about six, just about hundred thousand actually let's just turn that on let it go through oh we got a hundred thousand so we can actually stop that now never active I take and break this now as well oh, I need a pickaxe so this was just a little dump chest I put down here in fact I've pressed R it'll sort it into the second slot for me oops wrong one so we can now break this and we can break this So we now have everything and we've got another 15 upgrades. Probably should have done that first, shouldn't I? Then a quick look at that. Yep, 12,000. Any second now we'll have 100,000, uh, 20,000 in there. So just below ground, as you've seen before, I've set up some auto crafting, um, some stock items. So basically I've been stocking things like, in this case I've been stocking 15 pistons and so that's the reason I've done that one. In here, I should have electric steel, and it's doing 64 electric steel, and it's done 50, it's done 60 now. And in here, what else do we need? No, that's for those. It was red, it was redstone, wasn't redstone torches? I'm doing 32, so they'll also craft up too. I should have a recipe for sticks. I just should check that, shouldn't I? Let me just check if I've got a recipe for sticks. I think I have, but I think the two crafting CPUs are busy. So look, oh no, maybe I haven't got a recipe for sticks. So let's select this one here until we get view stored craftable items and let's look for anything in here. We can see sticks, whoops. I don't have a recipe for sticks. I have a recipe for planks, dark wood planks. Let's do take those, that would, oh look, diamond is now completed. Let's take the dark wood planks. We should have some in here. Wrong one. This is the vanilla one, I think. I've put my stuff. Nope. Where am I keeping them? It has to be this one. Nope. Ah, I haven't got a, a stock a stock of those. So let's just uh, take that and make some planks. <laughs> Whoops. So I now got some planks. I need some of these. Let's just craft two. Start that. I actually get four, don't I? So I should have. Of course, I've got craftable set up. I've got six. Two of those. So let's get upstairs now. And I have a lot of dark wood, by the way. Let's do a recipe for, st for sticks. I can't believe I haven't got a recipe for sticks. And let's go and put that in here. And we want it in the slot for. Well, I've got a slot where I keep doing most of my vanilla stuff anyway, which is actually the bottom one, I think. Oh no, here. I'll do it here. Like that. So now I should have some wooden sticks, so it should start to craft some redstone um, torches. Let's just have a look, see if it's actually crafting redstone torches. Might already be done. No active crafting job. Let's have a look at redstone torches. Craftable, craft arches. Oh, that was a daft, wasn't it? 
so I've now got my 32 so it's automatically updated those so that's how I was doing that so what else was I say it was a lapis lazuli wasn't it so let's break this off now we don't need this either I should really use a right I should use the right tool that way we can do that once we can use the axe you'll see it actually gave me 56 blocks of that because they wouldn't go in once you've filled it up it doesn't go in anymore so we can put the rest of these back in here like that so we have a few diamonds around now lapis lazuli let's just sort this one out quantum storage OSS one pipe always active 15 upgrades and insert it doesn't actually matter you should see them coming in here if I've got everything right doesn't look as though it's correct always active should see it coming in here maybe I have to actually select the task let's do that consume there we go now it's starting right so why have I got this rocket going in fact let's see if I can find my my chip it should be in one of these bags if I haven't got it on me so it should either be here or here I'm looking for an asteroid chip. Oh, I know where it is. I've been a bit daft. Because one thing's not working on here. And that is the rocket unloader. So I put it in here, ready for the next thing. You see all the coal stones now gone, been thrown away. So we've got quite a lot of rutile oil here. This is actually what I'm after. And I shall show you why. Let's go along here like that. I'll put that into the guidance computer and let's check everything's ready we should just be able to launch this and there it goes so in three minutes this will be down again with some more ores and really i need i need rutile ore and the reason i need rutile ore is let's have a look at this um, i haven't picked it up yet let's pick up the rutile ore from here control shift click and that brings everything down the other ones I don't really care about. And that was just a test to see if it could get it to to do it work as I wanted it to work. Now uh, it's here. Oops, it's here, isn't it? So what I want is I can't see it. I'm being blind. Oh yes, there we go. The hollow projector. I'm going to put it in slot one. And if I look at this now. I've got, I think I've got Terraformer set up already. No, that's the Astroboy data processor, so let's do that one. Shift right click and then go to Biome Scanner Atmosphere Terraformer. This one. Now, what I read about this, this will convert a planet and it changes its biome. So let's have a look at this now. What do we need? So we need one Atmosphere Terraformer. 433 advanced machine structures that's the going to be the problem one because it, we shall look at this in a second so we need three power plugs that's not a big deal eight oxygen vents 136 clay that's no big deal 207 concrete and four input fluid hatches and 72 fluid tanks now they are going to be a problem and the reason for that Let's just double check that again. It said fluid tanks, didn't it? Liquid fuel, fuel. doesn't tell you mean what. Oh, yes, it does. Right. So let's have a look at that. So the fluid tank from Advanced Rocketry are these. Pressurized tank, I think is actually what it's talking about. There is no other type of tank in here except for that you can place. Oops, Frank. Tank. You can you can't put these down. I don't think these are liquid fuel tanks and low pressure tanks. So the only one you can actually place down is the pressurized tank. 
and the recipe for that is six super high pressure tanks and that will give me one of those so we need 72 of those so we need six times 72 and each one of those these is made from two titanium sheets which is two ingots so if you look at that one the recipe for that was one in here with water oh yes of course ah oh, i've never seen that before and the recipe for that is again one ingot with some water 100 millibuckets of water and 20 rf that's no big deal so we need a lot of titanium when i say a lot we need really a lot of it so what i've got is i've sent my rocket up to get lots of rutile ore from that extra from that asteroid or an asteroid the ones i sort of cheated with but not completely cheated with if you see what i mean <laughs> so let's get this um how many have i got here now i oh, got wrong one i want to put those into the into the um into the system or the me system double click that let's have a look at what we've got for a towel now uh -huh. oops can't spell so we've got 864 so what we can do with that is we can make 1700 uh ingots so let's get on and do that actually so i want really want titanium in here in fact i think it no it doesn't show up as that so i've already got 1600 of those but if i now change the few to crafting here i'm going to craft 1700 next and you'll see it says it wants 850 rutile ore to do that so let's get that started because it takes a long time now the next recipe that's going to be a pain so we need 72 of these yeah so let's get these i don't have a recipe for hmm good question just a second let me have a quick look 432 tanks I might be able to do that I can let's craft these I have got a few in stock but let's just do 432 which we can do so we need 756 just to do those tanks let's get that started so they'll be in progress the next thing which I can't do is because we haven't got enough uh, stuff and also the two my two processes that are being used i should really add another one um you see it's got 36 in here now so that's actually increasing slowly and it will take a time because it's quite a long process to make the plates and things like that but we could go down and have a look at that in action well let's have a look at the other one with the advanced machine structure in fact let's do it on here in fact I might be part of the Lid Libvulpis. So let's have a look at that one. Because these are these components down here are part of Libvulpis. Indeed it is. So that's phantom name, so not the one we want. We want this one here, I think. Yes. Where's the recipe for that? Advanced. Strange, not working properly, why not? Let me have a look um, at advanced machine structure. Oh, I'll tell you what, machine structure. There we go. Advanced machine structure. A machine. Now, machine is not got no recipes. It must be a placeholder. It must be something new. So this needs five rods. Now you get two rods per ingot, and you need four titanium plates that four, so that's basically six and a half per for each machine frame and we need 433 of those so let's have a quick calculation I've got my calculator which you can't see um, it's 433 didn't I say 433 times six and a half means I need 2000 and well basically 2815 which is a lot of ingots so I can't do that at the time being so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it off and 
I don't know how much how much how much we can do. Let's have a look. I can't do any at the moment because everything's been processing, and I have to wait for the rocket to return, which should come back shortly. As you can hear, things are actually in operation. In fact, the one that's been operational will be downstairs. It'll be the crusher. Wrong way. All right. Yes, it's this thing. So that's crushing Rutal ore for two. Double crush out, so it's doing four. It's fairly slow. And then they'll be coming out and they'll be getting smelted. Oops, you see I've placed the block down because I've got this in my hand. Let's just uh, go and place it down somewhere else. So in here we've actually got 1,500 to go. See, it's going down, but it's fairly slow. Let's go down to the bottom place. Let's see those change colour then. Um, and let's have a look at what they're doing. Because these machines should be busy. We should be having... This should be rolling stuff, I think. Or maybe not, actually, because it's... Oh, yes, it is. Look. This is rolling tanks at the moment. We had 73 tanks. And in fact, let's have a look at the other processor, which is here. Where the diamonds are. Now, the diamonds may have finished... Yes, we've got 394 to go. The diamonds may have finished here. Yes, they have finished. And because I didn't... Um, the reason the diamonds have finished is because I didn't... I changed the lens on the um, Environment Tech Tier 4 ore processors. That's doing... This one's doing 12 at a time, and the other one is doing 13 at a time. As you can see, actually, this is actually going faster because I've got a speed upgrade in here. But let's have a look at this. Now, diamond, I've got, what was that, man, I've infused? 82 diamond ore. So it was around about balancing out. Here I've got lapis lazuli ore, and it's, it's sort of... It's sort of staying around about stable. That was 433 up to 400. And 340 sorry so it's going around about this level and the reason for that is we'll have a look at that as well because that's actually also important let's go over here so what I've done here is I put in two blue lenses here one on the tier 4 and one on the tier 3 oh it's tier 2 actually isn't it this one so they're both basically mining for concentrating on lapis lazuli and that works fairly well on there so it is my it is maintaining when i change this from a light blue one uh, the cyan one i think it's the one used for diamonds to blue i actually ran out of um, diamond ore. so that's how i realized it doesn't keep up unless you're actually concentrating on it for the what i've for the balance of what i've got so i'm happy with that It'll work just fine. So let's have a look. I'm not sure how this quest is doing now. Still busy getting in there. Oh, just about completed in the next few seconds. Our rocket should be back, but I don't see it. Let's go and have a check what's going on with that one. Oh yes, it is back, look. I just couldn't see it. When you open this one, shift right click on it first of all, and try to open an oak chest. The first time you do it, it throws you out. Oh, it didn't this time, goodness. Right, so I've got some more rutal or cobblestone. All right, so I didn't do a particularly large asteroid in that this particular time, but Let's put everything into there, control and space, and click, and moves everything up. And these will start to disappear automatically as, as they come out. Now let's, yep, quest complete, lapis. So while that's doing this, I need to say updated lapis so we can do the rewards. Let's just get another, what time of day is it? I haven't got my clock with me. Um, let's get another asteroid chip sorted out. I haven't got one with me, but we can soon make an asteroid chip now. So I've got those as programmed as well. I've got one here. And I can craft those. So I'll craft another one of those. 
Or can we? I don't think... No, no CPUs available. Fortunately, I had one. So we come down here and we have a look at what asteroids we've got. This one looks good, 191 of things. In fact, maybe I should scan it again, because I... No? Medium asteroids, let's... We have got data in here. Scan that again, then. Here we go, two medium asteroids. That one's reasonable, but not that great. And that one's not very good. Let's try again. Now we've got some more. 92. 49. Uh, I have to check the other two because I'm not sure what, none. So the new ones were being put at the top. This one's good, 136. Okay, so we take our asteroid chip next and we put it into the machine. We've got to wait till night time. But I will put it in anyway. Wait for that. Because it doesn't it does take quite a long time for that to happen. Oh bish, what am I doing? That has yes, it needs to be programmed first, doesn't it? After it's been programmed, we then have to put it into the data processor here in order for that to to work. So let's have a look at those quests now. Collect the quests. So we've now got these two complete. Okay, item reward and get food. There's no scroll bar on here and there's no separate thing, so I just claim that and I get two vibrant capacitor banks which banks which is great. The rest don't matter anymore. Done and let's have a look at the diamond one. 400 XP, okay, and a reward of choice. Well, I've already got a rainbow generator and I don't intend to use that. So the obvious and one to change to pick is the dimensional transceiver. Emerald we don't need and heat potion we don't need that either. Claim that. Done. So there's just two left to do. Under the sand and cobblestone. Um, under the sand is actually taking a long time. So look at that. This episode I'm sort of doing daily type stuff rather than anything specially new, except for maybe the cobblestone one. Um, oops, I'm going, I've gone past my marker. Actually, I do want to show you something else. There was this little thing here. This is a, is a vanilla way of doing a very fast dispenser. So, for example, what have I got in here? Oh, this doesn't matter much. Let's put these honey slices in here. And watch what happens. They're getting thrown out like that, fairly fast. And it stops clicking when the 20 have gone through. And that's the circuit. And in fact, I probably could link. I got them back again. 20 S, 20, 14. So where the other two gone? Oh, there you are. Pick them up again now. So I've got 20 honey slices if I look at if I look at that you'll see basically it goes through a capacitor here a comparator out to a relay and then back into the comparator so that will actually give you a signal of about 15 and that drops down to here when it comes to about two I think and this is a little clock si signal the way the clock bit works most of it is clock it's like this I need to get Yes, I want one piece of redstone. Let's move this out of the way. And yeah, redstone and redstone torches. And I've set this up so it's slightly slow. Because what you've got to do is you've got to put redstone torch down. Let's do that first. Because uh, you need to give it a pulse. And it's quite difficult to give it a pulse. So you put redstone down and then you right click it. So then it should start. But I was too slow so to break it again and then do that again. So right down and break. Now once you've got it working the clock starts to rotate like that. And of course you can slow it down by right clicking this and that breaks it to the other side. You have to, to put it down again. So break the circuit, put it down and we give it another redstone signal. This time it's a bit slower as you can see. And that's what's going on here to some extent with the feedback from here so it doesn't work when there's no items in there 
So that's what all that is about. And I found that how to do that on somebody's it's a vanilla op so you can actually throw things out of a out of a tower. Well, so you can use it as an elevator really. Right, what did I want to do? I've completely gone blank. Completely gone blank. You know, I'm going to have to stop for a second. Come back in a second. Well, figured out. I was going to show you the sandstone one, wasn't I? So I actually moved the sandstone. Whoa, that's weird. To here. And my horse is climbing on this. All I've got basically is some more crushers. So we've got the cobblestone generator to four five producing cobblestone getting fed into these machines here like that's so with 20 speed upgrades the sand is coming out sometimes it gets sand from here when he's grinding uh, coal and that goes like that and that gets taken straight out the the, la uh, the gravel goes into this one and it gets converted to sand actually that's looking a little bit low but I think it's still running fairly fast I might have to update those cable upgrade those cables on here because it not quite keeping up. To look at the dimensional transceiver, uh, power is good on this, so there's no big deal with that. So then they come all the way down here, with the exception of this one here, which goes into this quantum storage unit, and that's going in and out all the time. It's coming. In, what's happening here is it's going out on the brown, and coming into the dimensional transceiver on the brown. So this is receiving sand. The sand is then going to the dimensional transceiver. And we can come back and have a look where that's coming out. It's coming back out of the base in one of those dimensional transceivers attached to the tier 3. Um, woo, I don't like that. Attached to the tier 3 uh, nether star generator, which is just down below here. So here. And I think it's attached. Oh, that's full. I'll have to sort that out see that's attached here I think because the sand there you see the sand's coming in here so what we got a blockage of we've oh, nothing on there oh it's not blocked as I think those are items that wanted to be sent let me just double check that again no it's receiving those oh, it's probably not going fast enough what have we got in here so what have we got in here no speed upgrades well let's give it a couple that'll soon empty that out like that good I don't need as many as 15 just two will do I think actually then keep up quite happily and this one so oh, it's got two on and each so that's keeping up already and here I've actually got some nether stars I'm sending out if I want to so I can receive nether stars anyway and I've got plenty of nether stars coming in so there should be no shortage of nether stars in there yes right now, the last thing, let's go and have a look. And uh, hopefully, it's night time. Doesn't look like it's night time. It just looks like it's daytime. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait here until nightfall. Don't forget to the right one. And I'll see you in well, a minute. It's now open. So my chip is here. So all I need to do now, of course, is to process that one. And then we need to take that one and fill it in. So which one have we got? And this one yes and the data is now coming back in again it's being fed in I think the data is coming the distance data is coming from the telescope that seems to now be working and the other ones are coming from the satellites I'm gonna to have to send up some more satellites by the looks of it if I need to keep doing this and I've also got this one found very nice 190 so I'll scan that one as well like that and then I'm just gonna to have to be patient oh, where's it gone to data press is the wrong side and we'll put those again into the input hatch like that because there's one already in there and then when that's finished it will automatically come out and go into the output hatch like there so that's that also while I was doing this I was just playing around and I found another rocket landed on me but don't ask me where it came from and I don't even remember when I sent it off to be honest with you because it's bigger than normal because I've got eight tanks on this one 
So the rockets do come back every once in a while. It's very strange. So let's just disassemble that one. So it's even got fuel in it. And then we can break it up. I would warn against using a hammer to break these things up. Because I was doing that when I was doing playing with my place, um, PlayStation. With my spaced, um, sp space elevator. What, what I noticed is with my space elevator... I was breaking it with a hammer because that was a quick way, and I was always losing one street machine structure. So there you are. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, it's not really been anything specially new, but it's really the prelude or the preparation work for the terraforming, and that's going to be a lot of work. So, until next time, bye for now.